Hi there, Cancers, and this is your February 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, before we do start reading, I just want to remind each and every one of you that this is still a general reading, so it may or may not tune in necessarily for each and every Cancers out there, so just keep that in mind. And the only way to, you know, really take a look on your personal situation specifically is to do a private session with your trusted reader or you can always book a session with me through my website in the stars by Chrissy.com. So, um, Cancers for February, let's see what's going on with you guys. Okay, so let's take a look. I kind of feel that it could be a month that is somehow emotionally packed so i don't know if this is because of the influence of the planetary alignments because we do have a strong water energy going on i would say strong water and fire and when we combine water and fire together it can be quite explosive because you, we are getting that reminder of having Pisces and Mars together, you know, or Pisces and Scorpio together, or Pisces and Aries together. Uh, those are the energies that I'm picking up at this time. So when we combine the element of water and fire, it creates explosions, it creates heat, you know, and how drastic it is is going to, of course, depend. But I just kind of feel that, you know, there, it is a very emotional month, especially for cancers, maybe because being a water sign, you, you, you tend to tune in with the energy of the Pisces energy, which is, you know, vibrating throughout the month of February. So I'm really not sure if it's because February is a love month, which means that a lot of people are going to be taking a look in terms of their relationship, in terms of the matters of the heart, in terms of their partnerships. But right now, what we have here is that we have the Four of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles all together. And this is about a possibility that maybe you're thinking about settling down for some of you. Or it could be that you are thinking about someone in particular that maybe is not in your life, but you're, single, you're still thinking about them. So you know it could vary you know you can be in a you could be a single person and still maybe having a hung up with your ex or with a past love or it could be that you are already in a relationship but you are interested with someone else or this can be a scenario where in you might be in a relationship but you're not entirely happy about the relationship that you have at this time so there is something that you are contemplating on and wishing on there's a lot of hopes wishes and desire that you want to occur and happen for you we also have this eight of swords um as another card that adds to the element of this four of cups so the eight of swords and the four of cups all together is that it's that feeling we're in you are wanting something that you don't have and maybe you are just not taking any action maybe you are unable to take any action or maybe you know it could be you have other reasons for not taking action it could be that maybe things are hopeless but what is it that ma is making this hopeless have you tried everything and things are not working out so you're you don't want to take any action anymore 
Or this could be a scenario wherein you know you feel that you are stuck in a situation and that you cannot do anything anymore. So the only way for you to deal with things, or the only way for you to handle things, is to think about them, to think about the problems, think about what you are feeling, think about the things that you want, and the things that you don't want. It could be something to do with your own ego, because let's not forget that the Eight of Swords, and the Four of Cups is the card that always gives us a feeling. As if we are, we are very vulnerable, and it's not as if that there is nothing that we can do because with this four of cups, it's like you know you're wishing for something that you don't have, and you are not really appreciating what you already have in your life or the other possibilities that can be in your life, and with this eight of swords, we have that you know. A feeling wherein you are all tied up, but the tie is not really very strong. It's all loose up, so you can free yourself, but maybe you're just choosing not to free yourself. So it has that form of energy that is being focused at this time. And if you notice, we do have a lot of repeating cards. We do have another four of cups over here with the moon card. As the foundation of this reading, so this really gives me like a confirmation confirmation that you know a lot of cap cancer people, it could be your sun, moon, or rising sign. It could be you, or it could be you know something that the other person is feeling or undergoing. It really depends if you are tuning in with the reading. It is something that is in. In your mind, there is something that you are really reflecting. Maybe something to do with your life overall, or with a relationship. It could be with a very important relationship, a very important man in your life. Is something that you're thinking about, and maybe you know you could be in a relationship, but you feel as if you are alone. You feel that. You are in a relationship, but you're not in a relationship exactly. So there is a sense of loneliness here, and there is an energy where, and there is something that you want to set things right. There is something that you want to find answers on. So th there is an element here of a lot of confusion, a lot of uncertainty in your mind, but at the same time, you also want answers. You also want to get the bottom of things. So there is a tone of pessimism here, but it's not as if you are very pessimistic. You know, you're still hoping for the best, and you're still hoping for things to get better. It does show us here that you know. You might take action. You are most likely going to take action to find out the truth, so that maybe you can start again. Or I don't know. I just kind of feel that you know there's going to be a huge shift of energy for you for February, as if something is really going to be transpiring for you in a very personal level or in terms of your relationship. It could be something that you initiate. Or other the other person is going to initiate towards you, and that will set the tone to how this relationship potential is going to be. Again, it's going to vary, you know, regardless if you're single or in a relationship. If you are in a state of confusion, then maybe this is the time wherein you are going to do something to overcome that, or. To find the truth, find the answer about that state of confusion that you are having, especially in terms of relationship. Again, if you are in a happy relationship, then you know this is probably not the reading for you, unless of course that you are bored with the relationship and you want to spice things up, and maybe you are wanting to do to do just that. You know, you wanted to you want. To liven things up, there's something that you want to change because you know the Four of Cups is 
it's clearly about boredom, you know. It's like we're not doing anything here. We are not growing. There is nothing that we are, you know. There is no activity in this relationship. We are just in a relationship for the sake of a relationship. Or maybe you are single and you want to find a partner to be with someone, you know. You don't want to be alone anymore. So you might take action to connect with someone, to be with someone, you know, to um, to do something, to take the first step, take things forward one step at a time, especially if you are the type of people of, or person that usually don't take action, you might find yourself within the month of February taking action or doing something for yourself. And I see that as a positive thing because you know, usually a live cancer people tend to always give their love and attention to other people for the sake of the other person and not really themselves. So I think that this is a nice change of pace wherein you are realizing what what is really happening in your life you know what do you really feel about this relationship about the relationship status that you have at this time regard regardless if you're single in a relationship in a marriage or in a very complicated situation so you're thinking more about yourself and i kind of feel that for some of you not for everyone that you might be wanting to do something to change things but it can be quite risky so i don't know what that could be maybe you are in a relationship but you decide to to contact someone that is not your partner or to flirt with someone that is not your partner those kinds of things um it's going to be it's going to be different for each and, each and every one of you. I just kind of feel that you might be thinking about something and maybe that is not really how things are, are really happening. Those kinds of things. Because we do have the Seven of Swords over here um, with the card that is representing you with the Page of Wands. So you might be doing something for the sake of yourself. But, you know, if you're doing something immoral, I kind of feel that that is a bit of a risky factor because it is going to open a path to dishonesty one way or another. And also we have here in Lenormand the, the card, the crossroad card, which is all about number twos. And this is all about having two partners having um, a love affair or having illicit connections especially with with the dog card so and this can also be a breakup or having two people of the same time so we also have the ring here and the key card so there is something about relationship something about crossroads about a friendship a relationship or this could be you know entering um, a third party relationship as well for some of you guys because we have the key here so you know a relationship can be forming an important relationship can be forming but maybe because of this crossroad maybe um, it involves another person not just one potential partner so you might be thinking of two men or two women in your life or maybe engaging with different types of relationship that is you know not really a, a very committed one not very exclusive it's like you are in a rela relationship with someone like a girl a or girl b and um a man a and man, man b something like that so and for the most part this can be a happy feeling for you you will feel happy you will feel that you know you have living things up there is some form of change and shake up that can really make you feel good but 
But if you are going to enter this zone, you have to prepare for the consequences of how this is going to result in terms of your love life and love as a whole in a long term level. We do have the free of of swords and the devil card as the main outcome of the reading so I, the only thing i can tell you here is that i'm not really seeing this as a breakup but the act of having a third party relationship the temptations and you know that feeling of emotional gu the guilt that you might be feeling later on is going to sink in deeply to the core of you and whatever happens in that area of your life is going to be of course a different story but it's going to hurt someone regardless of what you think right now and you know so it is eventually going to hurt someone and you might just hurt yourself in the process if you venture with this we also have here uranus leo and i believe this was the third house earlier but it's showing up as the second house but it was the third house earlier and it was the second house right now so let's just include the second house and the third house for the sake of this reading so the third house is communication and again a number three that comes into place and then um this could be you know it raises up that vibration of having another partner in the relationship and the second house also a lot of times is also connect connected to our own possessions money our energy and sometimes who ever support us in life sometimes our ex you know there are a lot of cases that the second house will, has always been connected to ex as well so um it's going to be different but yeah the second and third house this can be you know um maybe you you end up become becoming impulsive giving in to what you truly feel not really in a very humble way you know this is more about what you feel based upon your lust or desire in life based upon what makes you feel good and confident so this having someone else to to give attention to you brings you joy is it a joy in a very unconditional love kind of way or is it the type of joy that makes you feel good about yourself you know again second house our possessions you know things that we own things that support us things that makes us feel good overall like you know when you eat the food sometimes it's not just because it makes us full but you know there is joy <laughs> with food that is what it's it's always linked with indulgences so indulgences can be you know can have a tone here as well be very mindful because i kind of feel that for some of you maybe someone will be able to see through your deceit or lie or maybe you know you think that you are not being noticed by your partner but in reality they are taking a look on each and every moment that you do so and if you are cheating behind their back they might just you know be able to see that i don't know the outcome of that though i'm just seeing here like you know a door is being unlocked so once that is opened up it's another story but i just want to warn you guys especially for those that are engaging with this kind of activity because someone is definitely going to doubt the relationship and 
Of course, that can also lead to a breakup, a potential one. So um, yeah, it can also be a situation wherein maybe you are not sure anymore of a relationship or you're not sure anymore about whether you should still be in a certain relationship and you might just want to break that off at the end of the month because you know this can be either a breakup or you're entering a new relationship or for some of you guys you are thinking about someone thinking about a relationship that maybe did not work out because the crossroads and the dog can also mean a separation with a friend a break off with a friend or um, some form of problematic problematic situation or uh, doubts or decision making with a friend but with the ring card here and key together with the future it's like telling us that there's going to be a relationship breakthrough there's going to be some form of answers and there's going to be some form of conclusions with a very important relationship in your life so it can be both a positive thing or a negative thing it's really going to depend now whether you're turning in with a reading or um I don't know I just know here that there is a potential for things to be exaggerated communications could be exaggerated there's going to be some form of you know sudden shift sudden things happening for you and it can go in a very dramatic turn of events as well so I would say that you know in any action that you do at this time be careful especially if you are about to risk something be very very sure that you are you're sure and you can take in whatever consequences that may happen for you in case you do enter this kind of relationship or field of course um it could be that you know for some of you you might be finding out that your partner is cheating behind your back or you know it can be vice versa so there's um, many ways that this reading can play out but definitely some form of conclusions in terms of relationship and the status quo and what you think about a relationship what you feel about the relationship those are really coming up the conclusion of what this relationship is really going to be is the very very key of how things are going to be unfolding for you for those that are in the sign of cancer so um yeah it can be a time that is emotionally draining but it is also a time wherein there could be relief in the end because you will not feel you're in, you will not be able to feel any anxiety anymore because there is going to be a conclusion there is going to be answers so you are going to be free from all of that thinking all of that mental exhaustion is going to be um, lifted away from you at the end of the day so it has its perks one way or another so um yeah this is my reading for you guys cancer cancer sun moon and rising sun i do hope that this reading gives you insight and clarity to your situation i do hope that it helps some of you guys as well so um yeah thank you and i'll see you guys again next month goodbye